let's focus on the part where Donald Trump says that he doesn't want Mike Pompeo doing dishes if his wife isn't there. Uh, take, take a look. Look, he's a high quality person, Mike. He's a very high quality. He's a very brilliant guy. And now I have you uh, telling me about dog walking, washing dishes. And you know what? I'd rather have him on the phone with some world leader than have him wash dishes because maybe his wife isn't there or his kids are there. You know, what are you telling me? It's terrible. It's so stupid. You know how stupid that sounds to the world? Unbelievable. Quoting the president of the United States, do you know, Mr. President, how stupid that sounds to the world that in 2020, you say he needs State Department officials to wash his dishes in case his wife isn't there. Casey, I, I, I don't even know uh, where to go with this. Uh, I'm, uh, well, are Willie I'm, and, and uh, Barnacle still with us? Can we yeah, bring they, everyone they, up? Well, they uh, are. Bar because Barnacle, Barnacle's on dial-up. He's on 64K uh, <laughs> now instead of 32K. Just moved up from 16K. But, yeah, they are. But go ahead. So, so my question for, for all of you lovely gentlemen is um, what would the response in your households be if you <laughs> left all of your dishes in the sink and then proceeded to look Oof. at your wife when she came downstairs and said, what is this nonsense? And you said, well, you weren't here. You weren't here, so obviously the dishes are in the sink. I mean, really, how would how would that go over? I, I shudder. It to is think. really. I shudder. Yeah, to think, I shudder. Well, it would. I shudder to think. But they get. But I got to say though, Mike, it's not really fair to ask that question, Mike, because Anne doesn't trust Mike with the china. He gets paper plates. But Mike, what if you told Anne? That's right. She's a smart woman. Uh, hey, <laughs> yeah. What if you? What if? What if you told Anne Fanuk and hey, listen. Uh, honey, uh, I got an important call. You need to come back from your trip so you can wash the dishes. Joe, years ago, <clears throat> when I had very little and I was working two jobs, I used to sleep in the car sometimes. I think I would be permanently sleeping in the car if I ever indicated that to my wife today. Yeah, it's unbelievable. Okay. It does show, does show, Willie, uh, the clueless, cluelessness of, of this president. And why he really, he just, he needs to speak and uh, he, he needs to read the script. He needs to move, uh, move forward and, and just quit rambling. These press conferences are never good for him. Uh, women across the suburbs of America uh, who started moving away from him uh, in 2017, uh, I suspect things like that will only expedite uh, that abandonment. Thanks for checking out MSNBC on YouTube and make sure you subscribe to stay up to date on the day's biggest stories and you can click on any of the videos around us to watch more for Morning Joe and MSNBC. Thanks so much for watching.